Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. This is part six of the transformation of my XF Falcon into a replica race car. The livery is uh, Peter Jackson Falcon. The paint job was on the Bathurst winning 1993 EB Falcon. And it was also on the Ford Sierra Cosworth of the early 90s, late 80s as well by Peter Jackson Racing. So for those who don't know, Peter Jackson is actually a cigarette brand in Australia. And uh, back, in the, back in those days, a lot of the um, race cars were sponsored by cigarette companies. So I'm sure it was the same uh, in the rest of the world as well. So um, this car of mine is not the exact model that this paint job went on, but it, this paint job did go on a couple of different cars, and um, I just decided I liked the paint job a lot. And I, I remember these cars going around Bathurst when I was a kid. I always used to watch the, um, the touring cars with my dad and my brothers and sisters, so I just thought it would be pretty cool to paint my car up to look like one. So. Those of you who uh, subscribe and watch the rest of my vids, I'm sure you've already uh, seen the rest of them. Uh, this is part six, as I mentioned earlier. Um, the rest of them is uh, covering the rest of it, rest of the work up to this point. And um, uh, for this job, I uh, changed the the way I was going to do it. Actually, halfway through doing it, uh, originally my plan was to paint the insides of the door jams, which I did on the Saturday and then bolt the doors back on and then maybe the next weekend I was going to come in and paint the exterior panels but I just decided, hey, why not? I'm here now, I may as well just paint the whole car. So I came in on the Sunday, is uh, this day uh, that I was working on now and um, I came in and then uh, on the Sunday and just did the, did the blue on the exterior and then the next day I did the um, the second and third colour, the racing stripes. So the episode after this is going to be clear coat. I decided just for this video, we may as well just leave it at, at real time so you can see exactly how it's done. This video is relatively unedited. About all I did was I put an in, intro on it. I put a couple of different clips at the end. I've given two different uh, uh, videos. One of them when it's still in the spray booth as it is once it's uh, cleared and also one of it as it is at the moment, which is basically finished off. So um, there's one or two little things that I still need to get done, but you, know, you can see how it's all uh, finished, quite looking quite good now. So yeah, so I'm using the Developers GDI Pro with the H1 air cap for base coat here. H1 is the HVLP air cap. Um, and the settings for this is open the fan right up, set the pressure to approximately 25 psi, which is about 1.7 bar metric, and um, have the fluid wound right out so that it's uh, just a couple of threads in. And um, it's quite easy. It's it's not a not rocket science really. Applying a few coats of base coat. Um, once you get to the clear coat, it gets a little bit more difficult. You don't want your runs, and you don't um, yeah, you don't want to, it too dry. So you've got to be a bit more careful applying your clear coat. But your base coat, um, you're not really going to get runs with it. It dries quite quickly. And you, if you, you don't want to be putting it on wet enough to get runs anyway, so I'm using solvent-based standox. Um, it did cost me a bit more. Uh, it did cost me a bit of money to do it in standox, which um, I'm ha more than happy to pay that little bit extra to get that extra quality. A lot of guys, when they do their own car, they want to scrimp and save and save a couple of dollars in uh, sacrifice of the quality, but not me. I use standox every day and uh, I decided to use it on my own car too. So it turns out in the end, inside here on those suspension towers, I ended up painting them black because I think it looked better black. Um, and we've got a quick look at that, the engine bay and what I've done with that at the end as well and the rest of the car. About all I'm waiting on now is the rocker cover. I've just got to put the rocker cover on. It's been re-chromed and 
there was a couple of badges that I want to alter a little bit. I'm actually uploading this video from Thailand. I'm on holidays in Thailand. I've uploaded the video and I'm just making it live while I'm on my holidays so that you still get a video each week. So I've been uploading a, a video on this XF uh, one, one a week for the past six weeks now. So. As I always say, your feedback is more than welcome on my vids. I like to see what you guys think of it. Anything that we can uh, come up with to make the videos better is um, your feedback's always appreciated. Give the vids a like if you like them. Share them around with your friends. I've actually owned this car myself for about seven or eight years now. Um, I really like it. It's a pretty nice car. It's pretty good on the, as far as an old car goes for rust and stuff like that. It's been looked after. The reason I've got that bumper masked out is because the inner intersections of it get painted uh, two different colours. That's where the racing stripes are. It's actually uh, painted up like a cigarette packet. The Peter Jackson cigarettes used to look the same as this, um, this car does. And the racing number is 30 and the um, cigarettes used to come in a packet of 30 so they, it's Peter Jackson 30 which is what you used to go down the, the street and buy some PJ30s, we used to call it. I've since given up, yet there, to be honest, there was a few times when I was painting this car and when I was doing it up that I did actually feel like a cigarette. So it only, it's only taking uh, two coats of uh, base coat to get this car covered up because I used the high pigment uh, tinters in it when I mixed it up. I custom made this colour myself. Um, it's only got three tinters in it. If anyone decides they really like it, which I actually really like this colour, it's a solid colour, it's got no metallic in it. If anyone really decides they like it, offhand I can't actually remember what the paint code was, but I took a reading of this colour with the Spectro Photometer, which is just a camera and it takes a few photos of it and you plug it up to our uh, computer which um, will actually bring up from the database of all the colours and it came up with a very similar colour. It was actually a Volvo colour. I can't remember the name or the um, paint code offhand so uh, once I go back to work and check that I will actually put that in the comments box down below so you can check that out if you decide you want to use a colour that's similar to this. It's got a bit of white in it and just two separate blues. It's got the green tone blue and the, um, it's mainly green tone blue and the rest of it is 30%, uh, 70% green blue, 30%, oh sorry, 20% uh, red blue and then 10% white, high pigment white. If you're in Perth or if you're in WA, we can actually organise the exact same colour mixed up because we've got uh, we've saved this as a custom formula through Park or Parks Automotive. I mixed it up, so he's the local Standox dealer in WA. So yeah, it's, it's covered up nicely after two coats. Um, just putting the second coat on a bit heavier than the first coat. I'm pretty happy with the, um, the how this footage came out actually, using the GoPro, which um, those who watch my videos uh, often will know that it's uh, a bit of a, it's one of my things that I use the GoPro. Most of the other spray painting, automotive spray painting guys aren't using them yet, so.
The next video is going to be clear coat, the two coats of clear coat. I'm running out of things to say at the moment, so you can just continue to watch me paint. If you still enjoy watching me paint, if not, you can just skip forwards to the end. If you go to just just before the end, there's a quick clip of the car um, when it's finished cleared, and after that we've got a, a picture of the car finished off, and then we've got a couple of links you can check out, a couple of my other uh, popular uploads. Otherwise, you can just keep watching me um, painting. So you're just having a bit of a top up. It turned out with this car, I I mixed up um, four. I got four liters ordered through Parks Automotive, and I used up just about every single last drop of four liters on a full respray inside and out. So um, yeah, most of the time four liters is what you want to buy for a respray. It because I did the bonnet scoop and I did the boot spoiler as well, I ended up using a fair bit. If it was just an exterior closed door repaint, so if I wasn't doing the insides or anything, you'd probably get away with a couple of litres, probably two litres would do you. If you're not doing a colour change, that's of your base coat colour. Depending on what gun you use and how efficient you are at spray painting as well but they always as as you say and if you don't have a color mixing bank i had a color mixing bank for backup just in case because i'm at work um if you don't you're always better off just going a little bit more rather than you're better off having a touch more than not enough We're taking it out to a uh, Perth car club down in Fremantle tomorrow. So um, if anyone in the Perth area wants to come down and actually have a look at the car, if you're in Perth, you're welcome to come down and check it out at the Fremantle Coffee Car Club. I'm going to start going down there a little bit more often. Uh, a few guys that I know, my boss from work, and uh, a few other guys get into it, so I've decided I might start coming down there a bit more often. So come down and keep an eye out for the gunman and for this uh, Peter Jackson XF. I was actually extremely happy with how this came up. It was an off the gun finish. I didn't end up polishing it at all. All I've done is washed it a couple of times. There's a few little marks where where the um the sign writer had a couple of scuff marks from where he was uh applying the decals and I just gave that a spot polish, spot buff, one or two spots, and then that's the rest of the car is off the gun. I, I don't usually denib or polish my uh, my own cars. That's mainly because us painters don't like polishing, but I also spend that little bit extra time to make sure it comes out nice off the gun. And I can live with one or two little spots of dust in my car, as long as it's not excessive, which it, it wasn't, it was quite good. So the next few videos will be covering the clear coat and after that we'll just continue, I'm continuing on through the loads of footage that I am, uh, took of this car. I've got the XR6 headlights that I put in, I've got uh, the
there was some damage on them, so I took loads of footage of that. I've got the wheels that I ended up having to paint strip and um, the, the racing stripes, so that's something for us to look forward to in the next, uh, in the coming weeks. I've actually purchased a another uh, old car, which I'm going to be turning into a separate looking race car. So, here we go, that just, that's that job uh, finished for the base coat. This is the job once it's finished off with clear. Nice and glassy finish on that roof, it's laying down real nice. Real happy with that. You're not going to get much better than that off the gun. And same with the, the side panels, you're not going to get much better than that off the gun either. Nice and flat. Nice and clean, not much dust in there, one or two spots as you're always going to get. I'm yet to see a panel without a bit, bit of dust in it, minute or not. There's still, you're always still going to get one or two. There's one little one that's just there, I can live with that. So this is the car finished off, this is as it sits at the moment. Not happy with that Bridgestone sticker, I'm going to get a bigger one put on. I've touched up the um, the tyres there, pretty happy with that, I did that myself. Put my Weber sticker up there because I've got the Weber carburetor on it. Put my uh, bonnet scoop up on there too. I'm just waiting on my chrome rocket cover. Gotta be putting that on soon. Put my Ford decals up the top of the windscreen there. Looks pretty cool. A lot of attention to detail paid on this car. I'm thinking of putting a uh, exhaust tip on it too. I'm just showing you a couple of um, the little things I did today. I uh, touched up those door bolts and stuff like that. Check out these vids if you haven't already seen them. Thanks again for watching and this has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.